ladies and gentlemen, welcome to 2018 Annual General Meeting of Shareholders LSK Group Berhad. And with the concern of this present, I am Noriana Taufi as a chairwoman of this meeting and I will call the meeting to order. And not to forget our secretary of this meeting, Luisa. So, LSK Group Berhad share investor through the representative in Tanur Shohada for the meeting, Diana Zaman as a financial manager and Fatih Nadia as accountant of LSK Group Berhad. The notice calling meeting of shareholders and describing the matters to be considered today was mailed at September 2019 to all shareholders and employees as a record of the company. Can we now set in motion to the next agenda? And the other objection? Correct. Thank you. Motion carried. We are now going to move into presentation. I am going to start off the presentation here just talking about the business from a high level perspective. Diana Zaman is going to come up and she is going to talk a little bit about what we did in the past previous year and also this year and a little bit about an update of some of the assets that we have and some more recent event on those. And then I am going to come back and talk a little bit about the future, where we are trying to go and the types of the things we are trying to acquire so we move right into it. Alright, so one brief point about the liquidity so we understand that being a public public traded company that if investors want the comfort and the ability to invest, they know that they need to be able to sell their shares for financial. Alright, another more thing, this is the most important thing to the shareholder. I hope the shareholder paying attention. Now we are trying to spend a lot of time in marketing so that we are trying to letting people to understand about this company and we also creating a liquidity to the shareholders are comfortable buying and owning our stock. So since 2014, just five years ago to today, we have increased our liquidity. Before I turn it over to Yana Zaman, our financial manager of LSK Group High, to talk about some specific company's current performance. My goal over the next five years is to be able to perform as well or better than this year. So with that, I call Yana Zaman going to come up and she is going to talk about what we have been doing for the last 12 months since our last annual general meeting and a bit of an update some of the assets. Thank you. So now I welcome you, Yana Zaman, our financial manager of LSK Group Berhad. Thank you, the chairwoman. Uh, we share a topic for the welcoming to our dear fellow shareholders on behalf of the board of the director. I am Yana Zamat, the financial manager. I'm pleased to present to you the annual report of LSK Group Berhad for the financial year ended 31st December 2018. Today, I will present a comparison between the group performance in 2017 and the group performance in 2018. For the opening, I will start with the liquidity ratio. As we look through the comparison of the performance in both years, we found out that our current ratio has decreased from 1.64 times for the year of 2017 to 1.52 times for the year of 2018. 
as from quick ratio, we are incapable to make the short term obligation since the quick ratio has decreased from 1.18 times for the year of 2017 to 1.13 times for the year of 2018. Move to the activity ratios. The group recorded a higher inventory turnover at 6.24 times for the year of 2018 compared to the previous year which is 5.01 times for the year of 2017. For the average payment period, the group takes shorter time to repay the debt with 90.36 days for the year of 2018 compared to 91.14 days for the year of 2017. The ratio of the group has a slightly improvement as it remarks a decreased percent in 2018 which is 38% compared to 2017 with a 40% of that ratio. As for the time interest earned, the higher times are recorded in 2018 with 55.08 times against 24.34 times in 2008 2017. The group is able to cover its interest payments obligations on time because of the high capability of repayment. In 2018, the return on equity has shown an improvement with an increasing 19.50% compared to 13.27% for the year of 2017. For the return on assets, a positive progress is shown by the increasing percent for the year of 2018 which is 12.07% compared to the year of 2017 with a 7.97%. Overall, even though the result of liquidity ratio has declined in 2018 compared to 2017, apparently the group has achieved the an improvement of activity ratio, level ratio, and also profitability ratio in 2018 compared to the previous year, which is 2017. That's all for me. Thank you. Okay, and now I would like to welcome Ms. Fatina Dia, accountant of LSK Group Berhad. For the profit 
topic before tax on 2017, we we achieved uh, 6,840,000. Well, 2018 is 11,736,000. And lastly, for the profit of LSK Group Rahai is on 2017, 6,033,000. As we can see, it has a massively increasing for 2018 that we can reach until 10 million and 246,000. So that's all from me. Thank you. I'll give back to our chairman. So now I'll give back to our chairman, Ms. Yana Taufik. Rohyana Abid Zaman and also Fatih Nadia Khairul Anwar as our accountant of LSK Global So after listening to all the financial performance and also financial statement, do our shareholder have any question regarding the company performance? Yes, I do. Okay, so what is the question? I'm Intel Shada one of the shareholders of LSK Global Miss Diana, how about our future investment? What we focus for the next year? Alright, so we do have the massive answer for your question. I just came back here to talk a little bit what we are going to do the next year and some of our next steps. This is the core focus of what we are trying to do right now. First, our financial performance as said by the financial manager LSK is having encouraging growth in its overall sales and profitability in 2018 with sales topping the record 100 million ringgit mark. This represented an increase of 33.5% from 74.9 million ringgit in 2017. The growth generated healthy returns to the company which were available to be employed in capital investment for further improving our efficiencies, waste management and productivity for sustainable future growth. Next, move to investment for the future to answer our shareholder question. LSK is actively engaged in machinization and automation of its operation. The group has completed its version 2 production line in 2018, which is able to improve efficiency by 30%. The group has recently embarked on the application of robotic arm in our operation to further automate and reduce reliance on foreign labor. So, which we believe it's imperative to remain cost and operational competitiveness of the long term. So, what do you think, uh, Intan Shahada? Okay, it's impressively amazing. Uh, I'd like everything forward for the next year's purchase. Thank right. you, Ms. Diana. Right, you are. All right, so now we are moving on to the special business. Just for shareholder information, we have proposed renewal on shareholders' mandate for the authority to the company to purchase its own shares of up to 10% 10 of the total number of issued shares proposal renewal of shares by that money. So, that's all for now. Thank you for the rest of LSK Group High and the team who made it possible. Hope to see you again in the next annual general meeting of LSK Group High. Thank you. Okay, he's
coming. All right, thank you. Yes, coming. Hi. Hi. Please have a seat. Oh, thank you. Hi, I'm Liana Zaman, representative for NSK Grouper Hut, and I'm here to make a loan for our future investment. Okay, so what are you planning to invest? Uh, we would like to invest in our current asset as we are planning to engage in machinery and also automation for our upcoming operation. Okay, noted. May I look at your financial statement? As I can see, your income is increasing. So I assume that you are be able to repay the debt obligation on time. Yes. So how much do you want to apply? Uh, around six hundred thousand in the start. Okay, with six hundred thousand ringgit Malaysia, the interest that will be charged is four uh, percent, which is twenty four thousand ringgit annually. Overview from your statement, although your debt financial is decreasing by 2%, the risk to increase still high as your liquidity ratio show a declining performance. The risk will be higher if there is any unforeseen circumstance in the future. So, um, I will keep this document in view but for that you can look at this loan document Yeah. Alright, thank you. Yeah. 